Welcome to Comet Compressor Private Limited, e-learning program of ticketing tool for L1 support engineer. So we are discussing about uh, ticketing tool, the workflow available in the ticketing tool. It is also called as life cycle management. It's a life cycle of a ticket uh, starting from uh, creation of the ticket, assigning the ticket, making the work in progress and uh, pending for update. So all these things we have seen in uh, uh, different uh, uh, presentations. Now, uh, this is the part five of uh, uh, ticket lifecycle management. In this, uh, we are going to see about closing the tickets, reopening of the ticket and customer satisfaction, how all these things are measured and um, uh, how it is going to be benefited um, for the organization. So as discussed earlier, so this is for the L1 support engineer, maybe you are all coming as a freshers from the industry, from the college or uh, any uh, kind of uh, smaller organizations they are moving to the corporate uh, kind of environment so definitely they will be having a ticketing system so this is to help those people to understand what is the kind of ticket uh, they are working and uh, what is maybe there is a different types of softwares available like uh, remedy service now solar winds maybe we'll have a lot of uh, softwares manage engine okay so any other uh, ticketing tool so they will be using a ITL framework. So as per the ITL framework only we are discussing the different stages. So it will be useful whatever tool you are using uh, it will be useful for you to understand and uh, uh, work in the organization. So we are in the final stage of uh, ticket lifecycle management. This is nothing but uh, closing of the ticket. So this is very much important because if you are not properly closing the ticket then um, user will not understand what has happened and whether the issue is resolved or not is it a temporary uh, fix or permanent fix and uh, if it is repeatedly coming what is the next step i have to do so user will be in a confused state so here the statement whatever we are providing it should be very clear and uh, we should give a point of contact um, if there is any repeated issue what should what shall the user do about it so if you are not properly framing the sentence and um, updating the details uh, for the end user so definitely uh, we will not be able to get uh, good rating customer satisfaction from the uh, end user as well as um, more uh, uh, dissatisfaction will happen in the operation so this closing note is very important so we have to ensure that the mentioned issue maybe the keyboard is not working printer is not working website is not working whatever the incident I wanted the software I wanted the hardware whatever may be the requirement so we need to ensure that the requirement is completed for the end user so we'll have to get a confirmation some people will get mail confirmation some people will get chat confirmation some people will get um, uh, over a call they will get a confirmation so anything we'll have to ensure that uh, we are getting a confirmation from the user and then we can go ahead and close the ticket otherwise no uh, in a hurry bury so normally uh, associates will be trying to close more number of tickets without getting a confirmation they will close it but uh, certainly the issue will still persist in the user's uh, desktop or laptop so we need to give some time um, we have to meet the SLA that is there but uh, we cannot um, close the ticket because the SLA is nearing and um, user is not having the permanent fix for it so we'll have to be uh, getting the confirmation from the end user and then we can proceed for closing the ticket right once you have decided to close the ticket um, you can get the details about the ticket like uh, what was the issue what happened during the troubleshooting what are the steps you have taken if you have provided a fix you can uh, update it uh, you can refer the KB article also in this so that uh, if anybody is getting the same problem uh, they can also refer the KB articles if it is a self-help kind of um, uh, details you can attach that details also so user can themselves um, work on the particular issue and update uh, the required details like uh, PST creation it is a common thing right uh, anybody is having outlook they can create a PST uh, folder but uh, if they are not aware of it we can provide them the documentation so user themselves can create a PST and uh, configure that in the outlook so like this there are so many things available for um, uh, user so we'll have to create KB articles for each and everything so that knowledge document KB is nothing but knowledge base article so 
they can do it by themselves without having admin rights they can perform this activity for their own so that is how we have to um, design the uh, configurations so once they are accepting the resolution user is saying okay uh, the issue is resolved i'm able to work in the system printer is working internet is working then we can proceed in closing the ticket if suppose the user is not happy about the solution we are going to give them the reopen option okay so uh, we'll discuss in other coming slides about reopen option they can open the ticket again once you open the ticket it will get automatically assigned to the um, analyst who closed the ticket so it will not go for a common queue it will be directly assigned to the analyst who had last worked on the ticket so uh, it will be notified to, uh, to the analyst they can open the ticket and check with the user whether it is uh, reoccurred uh, or same issue different issue normally what will happen instead of opening a new ticket they will uh, reopen the old ticket itself so those things are there we have to verify so we are going to provide a resolution and uh, we will move the ticket into resolved state so there are different states available in the closure option first thing is from the analyst they are going to say the issue issue is resolved and they are going to confirm in the ticket and phone also so ticket status will be changed as resolved now user already confirmed but still we wanted that in the system right the ticketing tool should have that uh, validation so um, the user can go go ahead and uh, provide the confirmation and the ticket will move to close the state so this is how uh, normally the ticketing system is configured so first it will be resolved by the analyst based on the confirmation user will provide the uh, closed update and uh, close the ticket so two different status of closing the ticket and uh, it will be given some time okay so user will be given three days five days so within that um, they have to close it otherwise the system will go for automatically closing the ticket why the three days or five days is given is if at all it is reopening reoccurring or user is not happy about the solution they can reopen the ticket for that only we are giving three days time grace tip period or uh, uh, any other options for the end users so that they are happy about what we perform so once the ticket is closed um, you cannot go for reopening the ticket that's it you cannot reopen it and um, you'll have to go for creating a new ticket even for the uh, same issue so that is how system works this is for closing the ticket so while closing the ticket we have to ensure issue description is there issue identified what is that uh, we identified troubleshooting steps we have to provide solution provided different types of solutions available maybe microsoft is giving a lot of solutions so that we applied it those things we have to provide it here and uh, user concurrence so confirmation and uh, we can have a standard format of uh, uh, text so normally service desk people are there so what they will do uh, for everything they'll have a standard text like um, greeting the user and uh, updating the ticket status or moving the ticket into pending or closing the ticket there will be standard text format available only thing is you have to uh, fill in the correct username appropriately and uh, the issue details that's it so you can close the ticket so even uh, some people uh, cannot type faster or uh, they create a grammatical mistake so those things can be avoided by um, having a standard text there will there will be some notepad or uh, uh, sharepoint uh, sharepoint um, uh, link is provided to the end user uh, sorry not to the end user the, to the analyst uh, they will be using that uh, closing text uh, for closing the ticket resolving the ticket and um, we can avoid um, uh, different related issues So normally in service desk, we'll be using a standard comment for um, uh, closing the ticket or updating the ticket or moving the ticket into pending so that uh, we, we can avoid um, grammatical issue or um, we can increase the resolution time because we just copy paste it. We don't type it and uh, we'll, we'll just update the uh, relevant issues and user names and other details appropriately in the uh, standard text so it saves time so we can also follow it for normal operations 
so that everybody will be in uniform to type some people will uh, provide the resolution steps in two steps two lines itself some people will take five lines or ten lines also so it should not be the case it should be uniform across all the other people so we cannot differentiate uh, one from other by uh, seeing the closing text so we should follow the standard format so once the ticket is resolved so we cannot say close close is a different term once the ticket is resolved we are giving some time for the end user to validate and confirm from their end so normally three days five days like that so if the issue is reoccurring the user can directly go for uh, reopening the ticket the link or option will be provided to the end user once they click the ticket will get automatically reopened for the same issue and um, it will be notified to the system analyst whoever is close the ticket as a last person to that last person the ticket will go automatically so you need not uh, use a queue manager to allocate the ticket to the specific person so it will automatically get assigned to the uh, same person who closed the ticket if suppose that person is not available the queue manager can move the ticket to some other person uh, available in the shift to provide the uh, details so that is also possible so reopen we are giving the option so that we are not restricting the user in giving the comment okay so we want to hear from the user for that only reopen option is given and uh, we can also take this as a metric to measure the individual engineers performance um, like um, I can measure how many reopen tickets are there uh, for an individual person same I close to 10 tickets I get uh, one or two uh, reopen tickets it means 1 by 10 is um, uh, 10 percentage so I'm I'm getting a reopen issue of 10 percentage or 20 percentage 30 percentage so if it is less it is good if it is more then uh, we can directly uh, consider taking action against the analyst because they are not able to provide a solution properly but um, the issue is not getting suppressed so it is keep on coming popping up so that's the reason user is uh, reopening the ticket so if if you get more reopens it means that the, um, there is a technical problem with the analyst so we'll have to give them specific technical training and uh, uh, teach them how to operate the um, uh, ticket and provide the proper updates in the ticket so this kind of trainings will be arranged for the people who are all having low scoring like uh, 10 percentage 20 percentage of reopen score customer satisfaction survey so this is the last and final stage of a ticket where it will be driven separately by the tool uh, from the remedy or solar winds uh, we can drive it or we can have another third party tool that can get integrated with your uh, ticketing tool and uh, you can update the details so this is nothing but you are going to get the survey from the end user mentioning that you have provided the details and uh, uh, provided the support for so and so issues in the uh, organization and um, the issue is resolved whatever the ticket workflow you wanted to mention you can mention it so once the ticket is closed it Im immediately it is asking for uh, closing the ticket once in three after closing the ticket three days it waits and uh, it goes for automatic closure so user will get the feedback survey link from the ticketing tool directly the survey module is integrated with the ticketing tool so user will get the feedback directly from the ticketing tool out of one to five rating they'll ask how was the um, uh, troubleshooting done um, whether they are good or not uh, it will be a five scale rating very bad bad neutral good and very good or whatever the scale you wanted to measure so uh, out of five we have to be uh, four and above otherwise we are in trouble if you are at one to uh, 3.5 uh, so it will be treated like uh, you are bleeding or uh, the operation is not up to the level uh, so we have to ensure that we are improving the operation and uh, make all the dissatisfied customers as a satisfied customer that will be the other target so these are the different metrics what we do so again um, the survey will be sent to all the users who are provided the ticket but um, 
we'll be doing the um, survey calculation only for the specific people not for all the people so not all the people are eligible for uh, uh, providing the feedback some organization does like that some organization will mention it is open for all the users sometimes they go for anonymous also while collecting the feedback so feedback link will be sent to the end user who raised the ticket and um, we will validate the requirement and provide the update and uh, this feedback um, will be having five scale rating um, very bad bad neutral good and very good so uh, based on the uh, requirement you can mention what is the level of um, uh, acknowledgement you are going to give maybe five four three whatever it is normally neutral and uh, bad are considered as same negative only only good and very good are considered as uh, good performance rating for meeting the feedback so again this is going to be taken as a metric suppose um, a user is closing 100 tickets and uh, for all 100 tickets the feedback is sent so out of 100 ticket um, how much satisfaction they are getting so 80 percentage 90 percentage 100 percentage so if you are moving towards 90 and above and always um, you are maintaining um, uh, that percentage then you will be treated as a uh, good analyst or uh, capable analyst who can handle any kind of situation so company target may be 95 98 whatever it is i took 90 as an example so you can ask for it once you are getting you can mention it um, about the rating so we call it as a csat rating customer satisfaction rating so it will have a positive person and negative person is also 97 person is positive three person is negative something like that so this is very useful to understand the uh, nature of the um, nature of the uh, user and uh, what kind of support we provide from the end user so all these things available in um, csat um, uh, survey so normally this is a integrated module available with the ticketing tool otherwise we should get it separately and uh, drive it via your uh, uh, normal uh, mail forum or any other forum so that you will get the response from them then uh, calculating will take some time whereas if it is available in the ticketing portal everything is integrated and we can have some shortcuts to integrate it with the uh, survey system so with this uh, we are coming to a conclusion of uh, ticket lifecycle management so we have seen um, ticket right from ticket creation then uh, ticket assignment then ticket queue then WAP SLA pending details closing of the ticket uh, then reopen and see uh, CSAT uh, of the ticket so we have discussed many things inside the uh, 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 ticket lifecycle management presentation so hope um, you're all clear about the ticket lifecycle management thank you very much